Hi, we're going to talk about the order of a reaction. Key word here being order. So the order really is just the exponent that you find in the rate law. Now the order for a particular reactant, in this example I have the A is a first order. Um, you see that exponent one. It indicates the impact that that reactant has on the overall rate. Now interesting thing, orders have to be experimentally determined. You cannot look at coefficients in the chemical equation. One of the few times in chemistry that you can't look at the coefficients. So um, I'm gonna put down a couple of notes on the side that are important. Um, orders are experimentally determined. Um, so you have to have a, state, a set of data and you're probably going to do a lab um, a clock reaction is what they're called, where you can determine the orders of a reaction. Often in homework and on tests, you'll be given a data set and you can either um, do math or you can look at it and do mental math. Um, it's called uh, determining the rate law by inspection. If you have not watched those videos to determine from experiment the orders, watch those two videos. Um, and you can actually figure out what are the orders. For this video, I'm just showing you how to interpret the orders. Um, so this is how I would say this. A is first order. So I may put down another really important note. The orders use the ordinal term. So orders, you're going to use the ordinal term. Now ordinal term means first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Um, like the winner got first place. First is our ordinal term for the number one. So we, instead of saying that's an exponent of one, I say it's a first order. So this is first order. And I'd say A, the concentration of A is first order. So look at B, what order is B? The concentration of B is, it's two, so put it in the ordinal word, first, second. It is a second order, second order. Now we have what's called the overall order. Now the overall order of the reaction, really easy, it's just the sum of the exponents in the reaction. You just add up the exponents, add up the orders. So one plus two is three. So the overall, overall order is third. Put it in the ordinal term, third order. Overall is going to be third order. Um, now, I'm going to throw you a curveball. What if this was a zero? Right there, a zero. Okay, a zero order, and that's how you say it. There's not going to be an ordinal number for it. We're going to say z um, A is zero order. Now, I want you to think math for just a second. Anything raised to the zero power is what? It's one. Anything raised to the zero power. I can have a thousand raised to the zero power, and that's one. Anything raised to the zero power is one. Um, if you have a zero order, you actually don't even have to write it down um, in the equation. I could rewrite this as rate equals K times a concentration of B to the second order, because this is so cool on zero order. A zero order means you can change that concentration all you want. It can go up and down, up and down. Guess what? it doesn't impact the rate. Increase the concentration, decrease the concentration, the rate stays the same. That's a zero order. So it doesn't even have to be included in the rate law because one times anything is just that number. Um, so let's put that down as another important uh, thing, takeaway to remember. Zero orders do not impact the rate. Do not impact the rate. Now, I have another video um, where you can think out, well, uh, what does it mean? What does a second order mean? Um, it means that you're actually going to quadruple the rate. Um, or what does a first order mean? It just means that you're going to um, double the rate if you double the concentration. Um, I have an entire video on how to predict a change of rate based on the orders. So watch that video. This is just reading. How do you read this? And it's really simple. The exponent, we call it an order in the rate law. We don't call it an exponent and we use the ordinal term for a second, third, fourth. Um, to get the overall rate, simply add those together. So I wanna do one more with you. Let's 
erase all of this. We're going to do one more. Okay, here we go. Oops, there we go. Okay, so here's my question for you. What order is A? That is second order. And what order is B? It is third order. And I say, what's the overall order? Add those two together, two plus three. The overall is going to be fifth. It is a fifth order. And there you have it, there are your orders. So watch the video on how to predict how orders impact rate. This, now you'll be able to read them. Okay, good job. Have a wonderful day, thank you.